Hello, my friends. Peace. Shalom, salam, aloha, namaste. Blessed be, and may the great spirit walk with you. My name is Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church in Chappaqua. And today I wanted to talk about doubt. Doubt is a feeling of uncertainty, like something is wrong or may not be true, or a fear that you are wrong. Doubt may sound like a bad thing, but it can actually be a good thing. The famous philosopher René Descartes once said that to be a seeker of the truth, to be someone who knows a lot of things and understands a lot of things, you must first doubt everything. Why? Well, Peter Abelard, another famous philosopher and theologian, said that the first step to, of becoming wise is to doubt, because doubt makes you ask questions. And once you have a question, now you can look for an answer. So when we are told something new that seems strange or untrue or that you don't understand, it's natural to doubt it. In fact, it's good to doubt it then you can learn about it. As a teacher, I know I'm happy when my students ask questions, assuming that they are questions about the class and that they truly want to know the answers. I would much rather have a class that is listening and asking questions than a class that is half asleep or not paying attention or too shy to speak up. As a teacher, I know a lot of things, but I don't know everything. And I'm excited to learn new things together with my students. Jesus, Buddha, Confucius, many great spiritual teachers asked their students challenging questions or told them puzzling stories that they needed to figure out and find answers to themselves. No student was expected to have all the answers and no student was expected to figure everything out right away. They had to sit in doubt and figure things out slowly for themselves. Sometimes even the teachers didn't have the exact answers, but were able to help students understand the world better. This is where faith comes in. Sometimes when we don't know if something is true, but we know it's important, we simply have to have faith in it until we can figure it out. We can't always know how something works. Sometimes we just have to trust that it does. How do bumblebees fly with those tiny little wings? I don't know, but they do. I'd like to know, but I can also fall asleep at night knowing that all the bees of the world are flying around just fine without me understanding how it works. I'm just happy they're helping the flowers grow and making honey. Maybe we all need a good balance of doubt and faith. The philosopher, another one, Khalil Gibran said that doubt and faith are like twins. And remember, just because you doubt something doesn't mean you still can't love it. All right, my children, have a beautiful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.